Yes. Yes. Nice oh, to meet you, know you. I'm Rose. Carissa. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you. Cool. Uh, Voice Magazine. Where's Voice Magazine? <laughs> right here, we're, basically? We're not Voice Magazine. What are you guys? Uh, we're the Santa Rosa Middle School Team Press. Awesome. Yeah, we're yeah. 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 Um, Let me Okay, <laughs> do you want to start? Yeah, sure. You can just ask any question. Okay. It doesn't right, cool. matter, right? What Why inspired Scott? you to uh, tell your stories? About my friend. What, like, the microphone? Okay, sorry. Um, when you made the film, My Friend Dahmer, what interested you about Dahmer's personality and his story? What was fa what made him so fascinating to you? Well, I first thought like a story about a portrait of a serial killer as a young boy would just be fascinating to a lot of people because you don't generally know about the story before the story of the monster. And so here was a book, My Friend Dahmer, the graphic novel that I was fortunate enough to have in advance and adapt that book. And it was so true to life because it was written by a man who grew up with Jeffrey Dahmer that to adapt it, I knew that it was based so much on fact that it would be just so rich with detail that it would be fascinating to a lot of people. Um, what, do you, what impacts do you hope that your film will make? Well, like My Friend Dahmer is a, on some level it's a cautionary tale. It's about how a troubled kid slips through the cracks how friends, family, teachers, neighbors, they all miss the signs of what they could have maybe helped this kid who was very disturbed. And because everyone ignored or missed the signs, he went on to do horrible and harmful things to himself and to a lot of other people. So in some way, by looking at this character and seeing how easy it is to ignore or miss the signs, you then realize, oh, maybe I should be more sensitive to the people around me. It's also a movie about loneliness, about bullying, about what it's like to just be a teenager. And it's also a movie that's set in the 70s, and the 70s are, very they're, I guess they're in, but they're also just, uh, they're of a different era. It's before computers, you know? Yeah, thank you for your time. Thanks for your time. Nice meeting you. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Good luck.